Well, I think WSU has had a huge impact on the research and the education for this industry. Uh, all the way back to Dr. Walter Clore and the work that he did laying the framework for what's going on today in this state. I love talking to growers. I love trying to give them the information to make them more successful. I'm currently the director of the Viticulture and Enology Certificate Program. And I started the uh, certificate program in Prosser, completed that, and opened this winery. This semester I took wine microbiology by uh, Charlie Edwards, and uh, that was great. I mean, Dr. Edwards uh, wrote the book. He actually, I mean, I've got it in my house. So. so how does my research sort of help improve the quality of Washington wine? A lot of it's going to be the use of this tannin analysis to help control their extractions and to be able to do those types of analysis in your own winery is a big benefit. Currently I am working on a group of compounds found in both wine grapes and wine. They're called terpenes, they're aroma compounds. And there are some compounds in uh, Merlot in particular called methoxypyrazines and these give Merlot a undesirable green pepper aroma. So if we can um, release some of these compounds during winemaking then that would be a, a nice thing for the winery. One of the, the aspects of the cover crop work that I'm doing is it's really great for agritourism. Uh, a lot of the flower mixes that we have tend to give that idyllic pasture-like feeling in, a, in the vineyards. We've got grapes that at WSU right now that flower in three months. Ultimately, instead of taking 35 years to create a new cultivar, we can do it in five, maybe four. Whereas now we're in Washington, we don't actually have any grafted vines. We're all own rooted. And so part of this experiment was to really see what rootstocks work for us if in fact something like phylloxera or a nematode type thing comes up here and decides to infest our vineyards and try to to wipe us out, and so we want to be in a lot of ways prepared for the inevitable. Industry up here is so welcoming and so willing to listen to the information that we give them. We put workshops on for wineries. We also do a more research type workshops, presenting our own research or current research in winemaking. You know, they're not reading the scientific journals, so it's kind of our job to get that information out to them. There's no old time attitude or anything like that because the people up here are pioneers. The strengths of the Washington wine industry are everybody's willing to work together. Wineries aren't ever really in direct competition. They're always helping each other. I mean, if someone needs a hand truck or, you know, just an extra hand, an extra back. If you look at the other established wine grape growing regions in the world, they've been around for centuries. 100 years easy in California, and they make some great wines. This industry, for all practical purposes, is 20, 25 years old. And we're already being recognized as one of the world leaders in wine. Well, I, I can say that Washington's the best in the world, right? <laughs> Last year on the top 100, we had way more than our fair share of, of the best wines in the world. And I've talked to people in New York who have had Washington wine. Certainly the Californians are starting to drink Washington wine. You know, I think it's a, it's a world phenomena.